Peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, we will talk about, you know, always we hear Muslims talking about uh, the Prophet, he was sent for mercy. Uh, if somebody is fighting you and you defend yourself, yeah, you know, no problem, defend yourself. But when we say merciful, in general we say, or we mean, someone really, he is full of mercy. As you see in the screen, this is chapter 21, verse 107. It says in here, we sent you thee, we sent thee, not but as mercy for all creators. Hmm. Which means, Muhammad, you have to be merciful for all creators. Is that correct? Well, we, we showed you before, I made a video before, about how Muhammad ordered his men to kill all the dogs in the city of Mecca and Al-Madina. And until now, Muslims, if they see dogs in there, they kill them. Uh, is that a merciful act? So, I, what I'm trying to say, when you hear words, and you know, these words mean something to you, it doesn't mean it's mean the same to Muslims. You know what I mean? If the Muslim he say mercy, it's mean blood. If the Muslim he say mercy, it's mean uh, cut your throat. It's very clear that the dictionary of Muslims, it not, it's not the same of dictionary we have. Always, always Muslims, they have different dictionary. So, don't make Muslims fool you with words. They show you with their translation. And, you know, I approve the translation in here. It's correct. It says, in Arabic, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We did not send you, but a merciful or mercy to all creators. All creators. But if we look what Muhammad did, we will see that's Muhammad, and Muslims cannot deny that, he ordered to kill all the dogs in the city of Mecca and Medina. But this time, I will show you something is even more ugly. One of the millions of people Muhammad he killed. What kind of man this man is? Before I will show it to you, I want to ask you a question, all of you, including Muslims. You know, this question for everybody, not only the Christians, not only the atheists. What do you think about a man he kill a woman? Just because she don't like him. A woman... She have a baby in her breast. A woman, she have a baby sleeping in her chest. What do you think about him? I will let you answer. This is the Muslim book. This is the book of Asira, Asira, the book of Al Maghazi, volume number one. I will post the link next to the video. So all of you, you can go and take it to Google and read the translation. This woman, she is an Arabian woman, who she knew that Muhammad is a false prophet and he is a liar. And she exposed him. She said poetry, and the poetry even is written in the Islamic book. This is, this is her poetry. And here she is saying in this poetry, poetry, How the Arab, they are kissing the shoes of Muhammad these days for being scared from the one who is making them and cooking them as a soup, hoping that he will have mercy on them. And she is saying how the soup, thinking even about having mercy from the one is cooking the soup. Well, the one is cooking you as a soup. Supposedly, he is cooking you to, to swallow you, right? <laughs> you know, not to be merciful on you. She's saying, you please him, you ask him please. You think you have a hope from him, the one who cut the heads? As the soup have hope from the one who is making the soup. So, this is her poetry. It's just a few words. Exposing everything about Muhammad. What Muhammad did, let us read and by the way, this is the page number, 173, 173, in, in, for you it's looking Arabic, in case, you know, you, you do not know how to read Arabic, 173, and the book name, as I, again, Sirat al-Sira al-Maghazi al al awwal and this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia, because I know, people, they will say, this is a lie, this is your website, you know, this is the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, if you, if you click in, 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 the, in the banner, go to English, and you will see, this is an official Islamic website, 
government of Saudi Arabia, not only just a website. And here you will see the one of the men of Muhammad. His name is Umayr. He was sent by the Prophet himself. He entered her house in the middle of the night. And he found a bunch of her kids, they are young kids, you know, sleep around her. And one of them, she is doing the breastfeeding in him, for him in her chest, as you see in here. He touched her with his hand. And he found that the, 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 the sound like she was feeding her son. And he slept, and she slept too, you know. And he is, he is, you know, his, his mouth in her her breast. Uh, for, uh, for, so he found the baby is suckling her. So he pushed him a little bit away, and he put his sword in her chest until her sword, his sword, came out from her back. Then he went out. And he came to the Prophet, and right away the Prophet, he saw him. He said, did you kill her? He said, yes, Prophet. I defend you with my brother, or, you know, I, I'm willing to sacrifice my brother and my dad and my mom for you. So the Prophet, he sent him to that, and he want to be sure, did you kill her? He said, yes, Prophet. She is done. She is gone. book I will show you something to show you who is the real Muhammad this is as usual the official government website of Saudi Arabia in the front of you the book of Al-Fiqh Tasnif Al-Kutub Al-Musannaf the book Kitab Al-Fadail you can take by the way guys all of you you know you can take the whole page you copy the link in the top you post it in Google translation you click translate it from Arabic to English and you will get the translation the translation in Google will not be really accurate okay but you know you will get the idea but uh, uh, you don't need to read all of, all of this here you will see how many times Muhammad he said that I've been victorious by terror and here you will see Muhammad he's saying clearly I've been given from Allah things no prophet been given before He's saying, I was given five things no prophet was given before me. Number one, I've been victorious by terror. And I make the enemy get terrified a month away from me. Imagine, like if, if you are a month uh, 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 traveling, at that time they, they, they measure things by, by time. You know, because how long is going to take you to travel by a donkey or a camel or a horse. So... I get victorious people they give up to me even the one who is far away from me even one month far away this is from the mouth of Muhammad this is was the way of victorious of Muhammad this is how Muhammad he spread Islam a month away people who live a month away from him they announce Islam because they were you know scared of his terror Maybe somebody will say, you know what, this is not what the, the, the word in there is saying. We can go to Google. Already I did put on Google, you know, the, the, uh, the page I showed you about the woman he killed her. You know, you can freeze this uh, page and take your time to, re to, uh, to watch it. Okay, it's in front of you. You will see how he put the sword in her, in her chest and, uh, and he killed her. This is about the, the, the page I showed you be, uh, before this one. Now, we will copy in here. We will post in here all that the text we took from this uh, last page. We paste in here in the right side. You know, for me, I have the the Arabic setup, and I click translate. Okay, this is a translation. Five dead tonight, which means he wa he was given five things tonight. The prophet before me n never have them. No sir, to enemy of error. Which means no sir, to it means he was victorious. No sir, to from the word Nasr. Nasr to on my enemy by horror of terror even a month far away from me. You see that the translation here is not really that much accurate but it's at least can give you what I'm talking about. A month away people get scared from him. This is who is Muhammad. 
So we showed him how he killed women, even the one she is feeding her her, her baby, just for saying a few words about him. And you see, the Muslims talk about the freedom, freedom of speech, human rights. You know, yeah, human rights is something to fool you with. Go to the Middle East, go to Islamic countries, and talk about a human right. Go and live under Islamic law and ask for a human right. Can you say one word against Muhammad? They will kill you right away. Human right, right? This is how filthy is Islam. Jesus is Lord. Islam for fool. Follow with me, please. I mean.